Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Today's video has been months in the making. I'm sorry if you've been looking forward to seeing this. Um, I received these uh, notebooks from Unikeep back in uh, October, November. Uh, the other one I got is this guy here, the Garden Journal. So I'm going to link up in the corner at some point both the unboxing I did and first impressions of both of these and also my setup for the Garden Journal, which I have been using for my spring and summer planning. Um, but today I've got the second uh, binder, which is a sticker storage solution for me. Um, previously, until a few days ago, I was using this... Uh, oatmeal box from Target. So, you know, reduce, reuse, but, uh, <laughs> this is going to be so much better and easier for me to organize, keep everything organized, be able to find the stickers I need when I want them. Um, and so I'm just going to go through here and show you what I've got. It's nothing too fancy schmancy, but you can see if, um, this kind of solution would be a good fit for you. Again, this is from Unikeep. Um, and they sent these to me for free for review. So that's, uh, they, they didn't pay for this video to be made, but they did send this to me. Um, it comes with the, um, the binder, like the garden one doesn't, sorry, the cover, the garden one does not have a removable cover, but this one does. Um, and so it just, it's one piece all the way around. Um, however, it's not super practical. I was hoping to be able to like design my own cover and print it out and stick it in here. But uh, the problem with that is sizing. And I don't feel like I want to go out of my way to make something that's this size, but this is the size it is. 14.625 by nine with a one and a half inch spine or one and a 1.25 inch spine, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's way bigger than a piece of letter paper. It is um, taller than a piece of legal paper it is wide, so it wouldn't work that way either. It's just, I decided to just stick this one back in because it's cute, you know, whatever. It says arts and crafts scrapbooking. Maybe I'll put like a label over the top of that. But, you know, um, yeah, I guess I like this font. But the ampersand doesn't match. It seems like the ampersand was missing from the font they chose and they didn't pick a different one. Um, there's some like ideas and stuff on the back here for different uses for it. But what I'm using it for is, like I said, stickers. And it came with a bunch of these like folders uh, or like pouches. Um, I have, do I have extra ones? Yeah, they're somewhere in the drawer. Um, between this binder and the garden binder, I ended up with extras. There are some that are small, um, and they have like basically the size of like wallet photos, like four of them. I wasn't able to use those because the sticker sheets I have are too big for that. The things I love the best about this is how it like closes. So even if things get mushed around a little bit, nothing's going to fall out while it's latched. Um, and so it latches, it opens up and it's like a case with this, um, sort of album situation. The rings pop off here and then it's like one pole. So now that it's full, it's a little bit like I have to smush it down to make sure everything fits on that one like pole. And then um, everything will flip over this way. And it does flip pretty easily once it's at the top. I'm just going to flip through and sort of show you what order I have everything in. Um, and then we'll get to what I have in the back that doesn't fit on the rings. So the ones I use the most are going to be these like header uh, style uh, stickers that I have a lot from Mad Hatter Sticker Co. I have some from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. And then I have some from Planner Kate. And I, oh yeah, I do. I have some date numbers from Twin 16. Um, so I have to do this week. These are like general type ones. And this is like a full page pocket. Then these are days of the week and date dots. I just have some forward facing, some back facing, and there's a bunch in here because um, I have some duplicates of these because I know I'm going to run out at some point. And um, so I have them sort of categorized and roughly separated into as much that it's not going to be super bulky or difficult. I'd like to be able to kind of see what I have in here at any given moment. The things are going to start to slide down towards the bottom of the pocket. Um, the next one, this is a little sampler from Planner Kate, so that fits in here. Um, and then this is like all the other ones, chores, um, meals, stuff like that. Um, so if it's not one of these two categories, it's in here. Next category is like, I guess, event label type things. So a lot of these are from Planner Kate. 
Um, these ones are super cute from 2016. I don't use them as often as I should. Hopefully you can kind of see these because I know the lights are going to make it very shiny because these are all glossy. Um, then there's more, those are like the big full size ones. And then these are smaller ones, Twin 16, Planner Kate, Planner Kate. Um, like they, I got a bunch of samplers. Oh, you, I think you can buy a bunch of these little freebie samplers from her. So that was a lot of fun. A good way to get a variety of stuff. So this um, particular type of pocket has like a middle pocket, which may or may not be supposed to be used for anything, but it fits these uh, long, narrow ones sideways really well. And then there's a, a pocket on the bottom and on the top, and those work well for these small sheets that I like to get. Um, this is a whole set of Twin 16 that came together. Um, you can see they're all the same colors as these mini dots. Um, I'm looking for like icons now, sort of moving from background label types to sort of icons and this is in the middle um here this is just these is just weathers <laughs> um so when i'm looking for weather icons are in here then these are faces <laughs> reaction emoji types uh then here like i said icons we've got um a bunch of these little guys from 2016 which i like some dots um and then these are like a, a sampler from planner kate so I have everything sort of in categories. Um, more types of icons. I have some pancakes and some um, oh, little cars. I want to use one of these, actually. I don't want to lose that. These are brand new. I just got a new order from Matt Hatter. Uh, again, more icons. Clothes put away. Pay the bills. Oh, those are the lunch bags, which I should probably use, too. Then um, these are like sort of to-do type boxes. That's the idea. Here's like a trackers. Trackers and to-dos. These little important guys. I have several of those and some page flags. Then this one is all samplers. I got um, a couple of little samplers from my latest order here. So these ones are like mostly used up, but having them in one place where they're easily uh, accessible and seen is useful. Um, the problem I'm a little bit worried about with some of these is that they're not sealed all the way across. And I don't know that it's intentional or not, but see this pocket is the full width and the ceiling goes to about here. Um, and some of the ones I got are not sealed the rest of the way. So I don't know if that's just a quality control issue or what, but keep that in mind. Then let's see. I don't know how I categorize some of these <laughs> water trackers, reading uh, sort of thing, some lettering type, right? So this is like, yeah about books and this is like dad jokes which is cute and these are like decorative ones uh i got some of these from uh hobby lobby back in the day i got some with a order of nail polish that i never really use because they don't really seem to fit the style of my planning but there you go this sheet was from comic-con this one is all christmassy stuff and then uh and here i've got got these puffy stickers, which I'm probably never going to use, but they were given to me as a gift and I don't want to, you know, I keep all my stickers together because where else am I going to store stickers? And then here's some more um, sort of small decorative types. And then that is everything that fits into the pouches. Oh yeah, more of that. These, oh yeah, I have like a NaNoWriMo sticker. These are like laptop type stickers and, you know, like I said, I keep all my stickers together. Then I've got the um, whole like book of uh, what are these Mambi or Happy Planner stickers that I have to keep them in the same place otherwise I'll forget to use them. They're not obviously going to fit in a folder or a, a pouch or they might but it would be a mess. So those are just tucked in the back and then in the back also are the full size Planner Kate sheets that um, they're just I think I they would be fine I wouldn't mind punching them and then sticking them in like where they fit. So say I've got date dots here. I would could stick in a sheet here. The problem is I don't have a single hole punch person like right now uh, to be able to do that. So uh, right now they do fit between the rings and the side and the way that this is kind of a two sided thing, like it's flat on this side, it works out well. They're not in the way and they're not a problem. So anyway, if you've probably seen a lot of these being used, there's some more lettering ones, like headers, some boxes. These all fit into other categories, you know, um, icons and birthday balloons. 
I should probably use some of those more often. See, there's so many of these that I'm like, man, I haven't used these in a while. It's because they've been so inaccessible to me. So now that everything is organized in, in a notebook and I, it's going to be a lot easier to find it all. Um, I'm really excited about just that. I think, I don't know if it was part of it, but I set this up and then I immediately set up my week. Um, and I just, I felt like that week setup was so much smoother and I was like motivated to actually go through a lot of my different uh, checklists and actually get a really good handle on what's in my planner for this week and feel like it was actually going to be helping me be productive for this coming week. So I guess I'll just go ahead and credit it all to having a sticker binder. And if you're looking for something like this, a storage of just flat items, <laughs> it's a great, they have like options for um, collectible cards and stuff like that too. Um, recipes, that kind of notebooks and all of those are available at unikeep.com. Thank you to them for sending this to me. Um, I <laughs> hope that you enjoyed seeing this and that it was worth the wait. I know I've been promising this for forever. I finally got around to organizing them all and putting them in here and I'm very glad I did. So thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos about my planner system and all of it um, every Thursday. And so I will see you guys in the next one next Thursday. Bye.